today we're talking money matter. I shock of people who are ignorant about a lot of things as it concerns money. One, two, three, four. Welcome once again to my YouTube channel. If you are seeing my face for the first time, I am Amanda Omutu. I'm a Nigerian YouTuber based in Worry, precisely in Ikekwembe, here in the Delta State of Nigeria. How are you guys doing? Okay, so that's if you're new and you're seeing my face for the first time. Welcome to the family. Please subscribe to my channel because you're not going to miss out on anything whatsoever. On this channel, we do Christian lifestyles. I show you my lifestyle as a Christian. Okay, we do vlogs, we do stories that motivate you, inspires you, and enlighten you. Okay, these are the types of videos that we do here. And if so the kind of videos you like watching on any YouTube channel, then please consider subscribing to my channel to, the, to my old and turning subscribers. Thank you so so much for always sticking around. Thank you for all that you do for the growth of my YouTube channel. God will cause you to grow as well in the name of Jesus. Today we're talking money matter. If that is what you're interested in watching, then please do not go anywhere. Watch to the end. Welcome once again, 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 and again. All right. So I said we're going to talk about uh, money matter now. Something. <laughs> Okay, that's the latest talk in Nigeria that there are still a lot of people who are ignorant about a lot of things as it concerns money. Quickly, let's open our Bibles to Matthew chapter 10, verse 16. The Bible was saying there, so we should be as quiet as the serpent and as wise as the dove. All right, so there's been a lot of cry lately that there should be a lot of saving, so but especially as it concerns Nigeria and other countries, as it concerns the war that's going on in Ukraine and Russia. Okay, there's been a lot of outcry. You know, people are coming out and saying, Please save if you like canned food, please start buying them down. Anything that you think you like, please start buying them down and save, save your money, don't spend extravagantly. Okay. What you only get what you need genuinely. You don't get what you want, okay? As it concerns times like this. But I trust God that God who is our main source, right? God who is our main supplier will meet every one of us at the point of our needs in the mighty name of Jesus. And that's why I read the scripture that we must be as wise as the dove. God, they help, God, they help. But you still need to apply wisdom, okay? Don't spend on things that are not necessary. A lot of times, if you go to a lot of people's homes, you see things that they do not even need. They are piled up there. Please, times like this, get only things that you need and not what you want. So, now, why did I do this? I said I shocked, right? I shocked. Okay, while well, I was introducing the video. Something happened lately, and the advice I gave, it you know, kind of like made me realize, and I thought to do this video, since I have this platform, to enlighten people and make them know that, see, eh, your hard-earned money, you must make sure you save it and preserve it as much as you can. Someone recently, who she came to meet me in my office, I was like, please help me press this code in, press this code in, that somebody, then while we're trying to press it in, someone rang and said, hello, they were just talking. I was like, what exactly is happening? He said, they're calling me from my bank. They're calling me from my bank. They said I should press it because I was like, calling you from your bank in Nigeria. How? I don't understand. Okay, so I quickly pressed the code for it. I said, are you sure? Do you trust who is? He said, I know them. I trust them very well. You know, they. I have. I know someone in the bank. And, you know, he was even telling me that uh, I would do some money last year and uh, last month. And, you know, he gave me exact information about my account, how my number was blocked and stuff like that. So I trust, I'm sure, I'm sure that this call is coming from the bank. I was like, okay, oh, I dialed the number for her. I know that. But I was still not comfortable. I said, okay, let me see, because according, according to her, they sent her a test from a particular bank. I checked, I saw the name of the bank, I was like, okay. I I have true call on my phone, I doubt, I saw the name of the bank, I was like, okay. But let me, is, can I get the number exactly that called you? And then she called his number, I doubt, lo and behold, what I saw was scam. See, see, times are difficult, right? Your hard and money, you must not throw away for any reason whatsoever. Now she was so confident that she was being called from the bank and whereas that could not be it. So I just want to quickly give a couple of tips, okay, on how to, det how to preserve your monies, how to save it, okay, as it concerns this particular story. One of them is this, if you receive any call from your bank, supposedly, and they are telling you uh, information, okay, as it concerns your account, please do not succumb. If you have time to talk, just tell them, thank you for calling me, I will get to my bank, I will get to the bank and get more detailed information from them. Do not talk too long, do not talk for much, because this sister, you see, they were calling her, calling her, calling her, now, 
this is one of the ways you know these people are fraudulent. If they keep calling you and calling you and calling you, man, no say that one will be your bank. Oh, I was telling her, I said, see, in my from my own experience, shall a banker would not, you know, a banker would not just call you like that. Okay, now correct me if I'm wrong. If you're a banker in the house, please correct me if I'm wrong. I said, I told her, I said, except you have millions in your account. That's when a banker will start calling you. Otherwise, you don't have so much and a bank is calling. I beg, that one agree. So if you have persistent call from a particular caller and they are telling you they are from your bank, please tell them straight on, I will get to the bank, okay, and then get every information I want to get from there. Okay, I've had, I've been, a, I've been a victim, but because maybe because of the knowledge I had, I just, I just told them, 419, you be thief, okay, you cannot steal my hard-earned money, straight on, and then I cut the call. Alright, so the second thing I want to advise is this, apart from not receiving calls, if you have time, just tell them you're visiting your bank. Secondly, do not open any spam, you know, mail, either they t tell you, I'm sending a link to you, please open it. There was one YouTuber, I think her name is Chidera Peters. YouTuber based, she was based in London, I think in the UK. Sha. Now, lately, she has relocated to the UK with her husband to meet her husband. Now, she gave a story illustration of how her full account, her full YouTube account, was hacked. Yeah, because she opened a spam mail. See, second tip on protecting your savings, you know, we're talking about savings as it concerns this particular story, is do not open any email. Any email that they send to you from whoever, whatever, except you are over sure, 100% sure of who has sent that email. Otherwise, a link, an email, do not open it. See, let me just put a disclaimer here. I'm not an economist, okay? I am not a professional, professional, professional security or cyber security expert. I'm giving these tips based on my experience, based on information I've found out, based on research I've made. Okay, so do not open any email, unsolicited emails. They could be spam that would, you know, a more well that would want to get information from your account. So please, in addition to not receiving calls from anyone unnecessarily, please do not open mails as well. Now, if you can, Try as much as possible to get apps if you have like an Android phone or iPhone, something a phone, a phone that you know can install apps. Try and install, you know, identity, colors identity as it were. Okay, so messages and calls that will come in. Try and install apps that would enable you to know exactly where these calls are coming from or whoever they are as much as possible. Now, there are a lot of couple of tips that I can give, but I want to post here and ask, please leave in the comment section below. What other tip do you think we can you have? Okay, we can, you know, imbibe and put in our lives or help us, you know, to as much as possible save our added currency and avoid fraudulent people from taking our money please leave them in the comment section below and lastly i just want to advise again once again please as much as possible let's be very careful with our phones times are hard things are not as easy as it is we're trusting god to make way for us but please your hard and money try as much as possible to save them invest them i did a video i'll link it up somewhere here on how to save your money things you can do to help save your money i'll link it up there so please be wise be as quiet as the serpent and, and as wise as the dove we trust god to help us to protect us from all these fraudulent people okay and if you're that person please change you you cannot be taking people's hard-earned money money where person suffer for you know you cannot be taking this one just reminds me of a story and that story my mom okay her atm card someone at the bank that's another thing i want to add if someone comes to tell you she was not very used to using atm card someone say let me just help you mama let me help you and then she he has changed the atm card there and then and then when she got up, she just started seeing a lot. Bam, 20, bam, 20, bam, 20. And that was an, the la, about the last money she had. Okay, so I was advising, if you are fraudulent, please stop being fraudulent. And another tip in addition to the three I've given is, please do not share your, your pins with anyone. Do not share your PVN. Do not share your financial information with anyone that you do not trust. And this is the video I have for you today. 
Just a tip, a warning to everyone to be very careful with our hard earned savings. To be very careful, Nigerians, those in diaspora. Everyone, please be careful with your hard end phones, okay? To save them from fooling people. And if you're a fooling person, please change, okay? Time, a time of judgment will come, okay? Before that time, please change. God says He desires that everyone will come to repentance. He does not, you know, desire the death of a sinner. So please change. Someone cannot be working hard and then you will be behind trying to take a stored people's money, okay? All right, thank you so, so much for watching my video. I appreciate it. God bless you. If you're watching, not subscribe. Once again, please, I beg you to subscribe. We're heading towards a thousand subscribers. Please, let's make the dream come true. For everyone that subscribed, thank you. For everyone that watches my video, thank you. Until I come your way again next time, remember this, God loves you, Jesus loves you, Ma, and so do I, bye.